There's a local radio legend whose work ethic is as big as his personality. Talk show host Sandy Beach celebrates a very special milestone today, and Mike Randall has a story. Sandy Beach has this radio thing down. You knew me and I knew you and you made me feel very comfortable there. A bunch of old friends and former co-workers gathered in his studio. So you go to the fat man shop, he's not used to seeing a real fat man. You know what I'm talking about? To congratulate him on a half century in Buffalo broadcasting. It was 50 years ago today that Sandy Beach was first heard on the airwaves here in Buffalo. Sandy says he was prepared for that first day at KB Radio in 1968, even though Stan Roberts advised him to rent furniture. So he didn't exactly say, <laughs> I know you're going to make it big here. Over the years, he's changed stations, formats, and hairstyles. So I've managed to pick places where my personality and my uh, things I like to do fit. Uh, I am just a regular guy. For the last 15 years, he's been a talk show host at WBEN Radio. Tony Caligiri runs his board. It's a blast. I can't tell you how much fun it is. There are cards and a cake. I may have to eat my own face. But make no mistake, this is no retirement party. This guy wouldn't even take a day off during his recent cancer treatments. If I can't work, I, I don't work. But if I can, I will. You may know that Sandy has been inducted into three halls of fame. Or that he loves cars and still has a great sense of humor. You want your ball washed back? <laughs> But you may not know that this Buffalo radio icon almost became a CPA. Because I love numbers, I can do numbers in my head backwards. What helped him decide his career path was he wanted to entertain people and really didn't want to wear a tie. If I was a CPA, I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to have to wear a suit and tie and it's going to be boring. So I decided not to. But I think I made the right choice. We think so too. Congratulations, Sandy. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.